Hey, it's me again, Variety Gamer 95. And I just thought that I would give you guys an update about what's been going on in my life as of late. So I remember making a promise to you guys that Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door was in the works. I had to get completely recorded but I have been totally radio silent on the progress of that game. It's a game that I was hoping to have finished by uh, today is Saturday March 11th 2023 and I was hoping to have the game recorded and ready to go by either the 16th or the 23rd and I'm not even close to uh, finishing it up and the reason for that is because uh, I gotta be honest I've been having a little bit of a rough time lately I can't go into too much detail but because it has to pertain to work and I don't talk about work on social media I'm sure you guys know how it goes but it's a little more complicated than that like initially I uh, through some complicated matters that I, unfor I unfortunately cannot explain I felt like maybe the day shift wasn't right for me and I should just return to the evening shift at my job because I felt like I could get more done and I've been through a lot, okay? And maybe someday I could go to a deeper detail about what ex exactly it is that I've been through. Uh, without mentioning any names, of course. To get to where I am today. And it's like... I, I could try explaining it, but I can't figure out how to make myself uh, not look that bad. The short answer is, I was having doubts about my supervisor and I didn't know entirely how to feel about them and it's just it's not just work okay like i have honestly felt like because i'm approaching my 30th birthday this october 2023 and i look at my old friends from high school on my uh, facebook profile and it's like oh they're all starting they're all getting married they're all starting a family and I was starting to feel like a complete failure, honestly, because one of the things that I wanted to do was socialize more during my co-workers uh, uh, on break. But the problem is, even though I'm Mexican, you guys can tell I'm Mexican, but I don't sound like a Mexican. That's because I don't actually speak Spanish. And I've been showing people more details about my webcomic as of late and how much I've improved since then. I started drawing in October and I managed to improve the drawings of the main characters at least in January. October 2022 is when I started drawing on my webcomic. I should have an image of that right now a little before and after for you guys to see. The people that I've showed this to think it's a vast improvement including one of my friends who's an artist. She thought it was amazing as well. Drawing is something that I never thought I would see myself investing into because I'd always see myself as completely inept at drawing. And I know Danny is greatly relieved that I was developing another interest. Despite that though, I just feel like I wasn't really accomplishing much of anything. You know, because of what I just said before, all my old friends in high school are getting married, they're having kids. And meanwhile, as of this recording, I still haven't had my first girlfriend, let alone a friend group to call my own. I have been trying online dating and friend fighting apps for what, what seems to be almost 10 years at the time of this recording. And it's like, I haven't had any luck. The one time I, I did manage to uh, sit, get score a date in online dating, my disability, my autism drove her away because her ex-boyfriend also had autism, but he was in most, much worse shape than I was. Uh, let's just say that jail time was involved. I'm just going to leave it at that. It's not my place to discuss further. And that was the one time that I managed to find a woman in online dating. We were, It was great, too. Like She and I, we were attracted to each other after just the first date. 
I, at least I can say I have dating experience, but that was back in 2000, May 2018. Almost five years to the day at the time this video is being recorded and going up. Now, I'm sure some of you guys know how exactly I met Cypher Snake 89, but the gist of it is I tested my co-op Let's Play setup. I found a way to record co-op Let's Plays, a headset mic splitter that can be daisy chained to support several at once, and I tested my setup with my sibling iBig. We specifically played Mario Kart Double Dash. I found out that what I currently had, what I had at the time. Preventing me from hearing my co-commentator ask questions while we were recording. As a result, that's what made me decide. Well, suddenly that mono headset mic from GameStop doesn't sound like such a bad idea after all. So I couldn't go the same day due to work. So I went to GameStop close to my home the following day. It was there that I ran to one of Danny's friends and I ran to Cypher and I met Cypher Stake 89. So he and I, we eventually formed a trio, uh, Snake, Danny, and myself, and things are going pretty well for all of us, I should say. But, of course, as we all know, good thing, all good things just never last. I can't go into too much detail, but all I can really say is that uh, Cypher Steak has a vastly different living situation from Danny and myself and through complications that I cannot explain um, let's just say a family member wasn't happy about uh, certain vaccinations and that caused her to uh, flee the state where we live in I'm not gonna say where they went but Danny and I just came back from visiting Cypher State 89 and it's like we had a group of three going for a while there, but thanks to the pandemic and all that, like we don't have our group anymore. And see, I was debating whether I should bring this up. Uh, during our visit, we actually recorded a video of Mario Kart 64. The problem is, uh, Snake's living situation prevented us from really, uh, from uh, letting out swear words, I should say. I can't go into detail, but let me just say I inadvertently ended up causing the said family member to, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know how to describe it in a way that's, uh, out of respect for my friend, you know, because it's his life, it's not my place to discuss Cypher Stakes business, he can explain it if he wants to, but that being said, it's not just the friend group thing that I have felt like a failure on, because as of at the time of this recording, I have almost reached 300 pounds. I know I don't look like I weigh that much, but if this picture is anything to go by, maybe you guys can be the judge of it, judge yourself. And it's like I'm trying to lose weight, but everything that I tried. From Metafast to Nutrisystem to Noom, it all went south for one reason for one reason or another. And it's like I went through all these ideas, I spent literal hundreds of dollars on diet products, and in the case of Noom, I effectively ended up getting double charged. So it was like, well, what the hell am I supposed to do now to lose weight? So that was when my mom suggested trying a keto diet. But it was also around this time that my old man Toby passed away in November 2022. I'm sorry to say that that has affected my uh, upload schedule as well, but it really did. And I gotta be honest, with how long that guy lived for, I'm still feeling really torn up about Toby's death. Like, even now, I, I'm feeling myself tearing up just because... He's been through a lot, man. My old man Toby's been through a lot. But it's just time to rest. A mouth tumor took him away. And he was so old, there was just no chance he was going to survive surgery. I miss him dearly. I really do miss Toby. But what can I do? 
I had already recorded a, a game called Knack on the PS4, and I was going to record Forgotten End immediately after. But in the event that either of those games went south for any reason whatsoever, I wanted a shorter game to put up as a backup plan. So I started recording Pikmin. I had reached day, I believe it was 11, at the time that I got news of Toby's death from my mom. And I ultimately decided with a heavy heart, I should use up the last of my good vibes on wrapping up Pikmin, which happened on day 21. But now Pikmin is going to have to go up first. And Toby's death also unintentionally pushed Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door from what would have been Let's Play 32 or 33 to what's going to be Let's Play 30. And as of this recording, Knack is fully edited and good to go. I can upload it at any time. I just need to finish up the thumbnails. But I haven't actually finished up the thumbnails because of everything that's been going on. And I have Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door recorded. Except for maybe two, or four, two, three or four extra details. It's just, work has been kicking my ass, honestly. You know, you, you can see everything that's piling up. Like friend, like, friend groups lost, Toby's death, my cat Toby's death. And all at the same time, I'm trying to lose weight. Uh, and the day shift is just kicking my ass. Like, I felt so tired just waking up every single day at 5.20. And then we have the supervisor drama. It's a lot to take in, honestly. And I, I gotta be honest, I really haven't been up to getting my videos edited. But I know that I've also been radio silent on this particular matter. The state of the thousand year door and that's not fair to you guys i don't think it's fair to you guys like you guys deserve to know what's been going on i know i don't have a huge following now but i'm getting this out to anyone who's willing to listen whether you are a subscriber follower or just passing through the internet i'm not looking for attention i'm just stating the truth about what's been going on in my life as of late so, you're probably wondering, since I'm not working on the Thousand Year Door too much right now, what have I been doing? Well, uh, after explaining my uh, feeling like a failure to Danny, I had another heart-to-heart -heart with him. Like, I have been socializing with people at work. The language barrier is a hindrance, but there's also the fact that the brake system is handled kind of strangely. And that our assignment determines our break time, and it changes literally every single day. We get one of two breaks. So, when I explained that to Danny, we finally stopped fighting. And he said, yeah, that definitely needs to be worked around. So, I vowed to change my ways. I'm going to start a keto diet for real this time. I can accomplish this most easily by looking up keto versions of the food that I like to eat. Which, my problem is, I like getting a lot of sweets, but it's like, what else am I supposed to eat? I explained this to my dad, too. Like, for those that don't know, I don't eat seafood. The reason for that is because most of it looks the same dead as it does alive, and it puts bad thoughts in my head. So, I don't, I just don't want to eat seafood. Other than that, as far as snacks go, like, I've always preferred sweet to savory. And I really do think that's kicking my ass, like... My iBig and my dad, they were recently diagnosed with diabetes as of this recording, November 2022. And with me being almost 300 pounds, it's amazing how I haven't actually reached that fate myself. Famous last words, I know, but as you saw in the picture that I put up earlier, I'm a pretty big dude. I've always been a, th a thick person. Like, my mom knows this too. Because her side of the family has a lot of thick people, like myself. And I would say a combination of that and, and the switch to diet soda for the past 10-11 years has saved myself with diabetes. So I'm going to start a keto diet for real this time. I'm going to do my damnedest to lose as much weight as I can. Take advantage of one of our benefits at work, a fitness center that I can take advantage of after after my shift 
So, Im also, immediately after my talk with Danny, I chose to re try reconnecting with one of my old friends from high school. His name is Nathan. And I remember before Snake's move, I ended up reconnecting with someone, another friend of mine. His name is Christian, because he works at a Walgreens down the street from my house. I just reconnected with Nathan today, at the time that I'm recording this, March 11th. But, you're probably wondering, does this mean that I could probably produce more co-op Let's Plays? Unfortunately, I can't make any promises on that front, because Christian's off-schedule is kind of weird. That's all I can really say. And as far as I can remember, Nathan isn't much of a gamer. I remember during our talk, he said uh, he had a Nintendo 64 purely for the nostalgia. And that was pretty much it. And then there's Danny, who just hasn't played the large variety of games that I have. Seriously, he hasn't played Super Mario Galaxy. So yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd put out this video, you know, just have background music like this playing. You notice I didn't play any games. And give you guys an update about what's been going on lately in my life. I deeply apologize that I've been totally radio silent on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. It's just... Life is rough, man. And when you're trying to juggle a Let's Play channel, a webcomic, a 40-hour a week job, and just playing video games on my own time, I feel like I've hardly had enough time for that because I started drawing, funny enough. So... Yeah, that's, that's basically what's going on with me. But I do want to give you guys some content just to show that I'm not dead. And I had another idea. I thought maybe I could actually show off some mobile games for you guys. I remember I started the Quarter Quickie series with Bloons TD6. I figured that's a good place to start. And I also have a Let's Play Refresh in mind as well. VVVVVV. Just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what you can expect from me, hopefully in the near future. I'm also thinking about showing a little bit of behind the scenes with the uh, with my Switch video collection. Because I do have a lot of hilarious off-camera moments that I'd like to share with you guys that I still have in my memories. I think that could be a fun series. I just don't know what I'd call it. Just give me time to get set up on the uh, the whole mobile gaming idea because I could just use straight up screen recording but if I want the game audio to not be caught in my commentary I'm gonna have to use the Elgato software you need a special adapter in order to record iPhone software with without a problem and I do plan on acquiring that hopefully soon it's probably not going to be after this video goes up. Or depending on when it goes up. I don't know. I I'll think of something. I, I just thought I'd give you guys an update about what's been going on in my life. Because, like I said, it's a lot to take in. And I hope you guys will understand why I haven't been working on the Thousand Year Door. I would love to get it up. I just can't give you guys an estimate on when it's going to go up. Alright, so with that, I guess I'll do it for this update. Hopefully, if you guys are still watching, watching my channel, hopefully I'll see you guys next time for whatever comes next. Whatever it may be. It could be the mobile game, it could be the next Let's Play Refresh, or it could be my next Let's Play. I can tell you that it will be Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. As for Knack, I don't know when exactly that's going to go up. All I can say with certainty is it's going to go up after the Thousand Year Door does. But just know that it's coming. I have Knack full recording ready to go, like I said. And I also plan on recording Forgotten Anne as soon as I'm able to. As for what will follow Forgotten Anne, I honestly can't say. I played through a couple of games. Like Pac-Man World Repack, 
I played through... I want to play through Car Quest 2 and see if I can produce an LP of that game in the future. And I do have a couple of games in mind. I do have a pretty big retro collection. But yeah, I just thought I'd get this off my chest. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time for whatever comes next. Bye!